So it's quite an expensive tool, it's quite a specific tool for a certain job and it's one that I needed for what I was doing. So let's talk about the 18 volt Makita Nibbler. Right, if you've watched any of my videos, you probably know I love my tools. And I've got a few unusual ones. This is definitely more of a kind of niche tool. Okay, so it's the Makita DJN161 uh, Nibbler. I bought this mainly for cutting the mesh I use for my baskets, but also I can cut galvanized steel with it for my scoops and roofing material if I'm doing any roofing. So it's quite cool. It's got uh, a few, a couple of little features. It's quite basic. So you can see it's exactly the same body as the grinder, the cordless grinder. No difference in that until we get to the, the silver bit at the top there. And a nibbler is basically like a glorified hole punch. I mean, it's the best way to describe it. So it kind of punches out a hole as it goes along when I do some nibbling. So you see, it's a little bit harder with the mesh. Just get it to line up once it lines up. And you can cut really nice angles, like so unbelievably easy. It's not loud either, which is really nice. You can see, so it, it kind of punches out and it does leave a lot of kind of shrapnel lying around it. On it, it's got some gauges there of the thickness that you can go to. So this 1.2 mil old fashioned galvanized steel there just fits into that one. So that means it will cut it. Quite easy to get quite tight shapes of it. Downside, so if I cut, see it's quite a wide kerf. So you've got about a quarter of an inch, six mil uh, kerf where it's cutting. But it's really easy to kind of, so we've got some uh, roof, roof and metal there. Really easy to kind of follow the curves. And you can see, it's giving me a really good edge. If you were scrubbing some roofing or something like that, it'd be far easier than having a grinder doing it. Also, you haven't got the sparks of a grinder as well. And it's a lot quieter, so it's definitely got that going for it. So I'm pretty happy with this tool, it does what I want it to do. The curves it cuts aren't that sharp because you've got this bit of a blade behind the whole kind of hole punch section. So, but it does nice sweeping curves and it's really good for kind of scribing into things like I said. The curve is a little wide, you know, you've got six mil, you've got, you've got the width of that there. But other than that, it's a great tool. Uh, it's quite expensive, I don't think they make that many of these, so I think the price point's quite high. But if it's something you're gonna use, then I'd recommend it. Not the lightest of tools, and I don't think they do a brushless one yet. Uh, so it might be worth holding out for a brushless one if there's one coming. Uh, but I'm happy with this purchase. I do rate the Makita 18 volt stuff. They do some really specific tools, and they all seem really good at what they do. Um, so yeah, great tool. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Like it's like a hole punch and cuts metal. Like that. Yeah. Is it prickly?